with the very latest on what's happening on radar, Ashley. Thanks, Sherry. This is a developing and evolving situation. Weather aware will remain in place through early Thursday morning. Tornado watches for those counties that you see highlighted in yellow. That includes uh, Lamar, Fayette County, Marion County, all the way east to uh, Etowah County and Cherokee County at this point. Right now, no real active weather in our viewing area. However, it is just knocking on our back door as we look up to these storms right on Interstate 20 from Hamilton to Tupelo. I'm watching this line that just developed here within the last hour or so, now producing severe thunderstorm warnings, including the city of Tupelo. We do have a tornado warning north of Eupora, and then in the city of Winona, just between Grenada and Winona there on Interstate 55, another severe thunderstorm warning. So these isolated supercell thunderstorms are are going to produce some of these straight line winds. We could see some hail out of this. I've been monitoring some hail cores and also we could see some rotation. That's why the tornado warning is in place. Now again, the blinking boxes that you see, that is in Mississippi at this hour, but they're uh, reaching Alabama within the next couple of hours. That enhanced risk for severe weather has now been upgraded from slight to enhance for the northern half of our viewing area. Basically what this means, stay weather aware, just means the ingredients a little bit more favorable for the exact same conditions. Gusty winds, isolated tornadoes, and even some hail is possible. I still think that primary threat so will be those damaging winds exceeding 60 miles per hour. The timeline for this activity basically within the next two hours in northwest Alabama from 7 to 10 p.m. from Jasper all the way through Aniana up through Gadsden from 10 p.m. to midnight, the northern half of our viewing area. Then after midnight, we'll begin to see those scattered showers and storms moving through Jefferson County along I-20 and then into Shelby County by sunrise tomorrow. Most of the activity east of I-65 severe weather threat begins going down as we near sunrise tomorrow morning. But there's another round of active weather this weekend. I'll have the latest on that in your storm team seven day forecast. And with that system,